Healing brush out, healing brush in, healing brush out, healing brush in. Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines. Today I'm going to talk to you about Luminar 4, the AI-based photo editing software in my photo workflow. Now, before we start this video, I just want to tell you guys that I am a Luminar partner. I only partner with companies where I truly believe in the product and I get a discount code for my viewers. So if you guys really like the product and you like what you see in this video, make sure you go down in the description, click the link and also use the discount code. It'll give you $10 off in the US and $15 in Canada. So. You guys, before I get into the edit, I want to tell you about Luminar 4 just a tiny bit. Now, Luminar 4 is basically a software among a lot of others that are basically simple, one-stop shop photo editing softwares. The difference between Luminar 4 and others is that the artificial intelligence behind the software is extremely good. Today, to demonstrate that, I am going to edit a portrait and show you to what extent Luminar 4 exercises a lot of good taste when doing what it has to do. Uh, now, I'm a professional photographer. I work in Photoshop. I use layers, but Luminar 4 is not only a standalone software, it is also a plugin. So you can use it within your Photoshop workflow. That's what I'm going to show you today because that's the way I've been using it for a while. So, I am going to edit a portrait and show you to what extent the taste can be great in the software. Now, without further ado, let's get into the edit. Hey, YouTubers. Okay, so listen, I am going to be do a portrait edit on uh, Mireille Boutin. She's just a great model that lives in Quebec City, just to show you a couple of pictures that we took during the time that she was... Oh, let me widen this a tiny bit. There you go. You can see the shots we did. You know, not... Uh, not a pain to edit these type of pictures of just a great looking model. Now, I already have an edit done because I don't really want to get into the actual Photoshop edit, but here is the original photo. This is really the what you're looking at is the actual photo. Let's just go look at that a bit, just a tiny bit. You can see just a great looking model, but you can see that there's a couple of blemishes, a couple of things, a couple of faults that we got to work on to you know even it out and make the picture impeccable. Uh, make this person really feel um, great about themselves and like the shot. So just to tell you what I did, I duplicated the layer, which I always do. And then after that, I did a series of retouches, which you can check. I will leave a link below to my playlist of Photoshop retouches and how you do them. The thing I use the most when I do any of my retouches is the uh, healing brush right here. So here's what the healing brush did, especially in this area right here, you can see. Healing brush out, healing brush in, healing brush out, healing brush in. But as you can see from this point on, what I do is I go into Luminar. So what I'm going to do right now is just take all these shots right out here, these layers, pull them out. This is the retouch. Now what I do at this point is that I go Shift Control Alt E, which flattens the image, and I call this layer a Luminar image. I have Luminar installed as a plugin. Therefore, if you go into filter right here, you will find amongst all your different filters, Skylum software, and it will be there. Let's go into Luminar 4. We pop that thing and then slowly it will be exported into Luminar 4. So here is my image in Luminar 4. I will I'll zoom in and show you what happened. So I basically have the flattened retouch layer from Photoshop. Today, we're just going to talk about some of the portrait uh, enhancements that you can do to an image. If I go here into portrait on the side, we have different panels, groups of panels and different types of FX filters that you can use in the pro. You have color enhancer, dodge and burn, adjustable gradients and the like. I will use this one right here, which is called portrait, and it gives you all the different types of things you can do in Luminar involving a portrait. I'm going to use them all today. Doesn't mean that I would do it personally, but I do want to use them all so you can see what sort of effect uh, each one gives. AI Skin Enhancer is a simple but very useful and effective filter, and I'll explain why. What it does is it smoothens out 
the actual skin on a portrait and it does it in a way that's pretty darn realistic you know it doesn't look too how can i say airbrush you know like in the 80s how photos look very airbrushy and foggy and blurry it just really does a good job i'm gonna pull this up way high so you guys can see what is happening i will zoom in now if you look at that okay here's what it, it has done now what's really great about luminar is up at the top here you have a little button here and this button will actually show you the before and after you apply an effect so <clears throat> if we go into the before this is before i will shoot it over and you can see the after it's very noticeable in places like the chin and if i go up here where i did a lot of retouching already where there were a bit of blemishes if you pull this over that's what you're going to get that's the sort of retouching again. This is quite amazing, and I find it this in itself is pretty darn good. It is like professional level retouching, and it's all done with one press of the button. So what you can do is you can decide how much of this you want and how much. But really, if you look at that, it's pretty darn good. But let me just pull it down a tiny bit. If I pull it down, we can see that it affects the image a bit less. But believe it or not, I do want it around 67 60 70 percent uh, here's another good example of a place where it really does a great job in the chin in the uh right here the cheek area it really is doing a great job and down here where there was a bit of peach fuzz you can see it does a really good job so i just wanted to show you that and that is just one slider remember that you have a mask you can mask that skin enhancer effect out wherever you want so let's say i say i want it maxed out at maybe 96. i like it, what it's doing here but it's becoming too smooth maybe right down on the chin here you can go and edit mask you can use the brush uh, you can also here we go we can look and see the mask as soon as we start brushing it'll mask out the areas it'll show you where it is masking and you can come and put that in where you want it uh, see that let's say you want it there like that okay so there you go I will take that and I will erase all of that because I don't want my mask in there just wanted to show you that you can mask in and out on your images so there it is guys that is ai skin enhancer now let's go to portrait enhancer in portrait enhancer you have a whole lot of different types of buttons that you can use you have really useful stuff if you want to be quick you can play with the face light how much light is just in the face luminar will analyze the image and see what sort of lighting you need obviously it's going to go for tip of the nose forehead and all the points that pop out in your shot as you can see let's look at that let's look at the before and after that's after and that's before now we're looking at both effects so i will pull down face light but i just wanted to show you that you also have red eye removal eye whitening which is quite amazing i found this one quite amazing it actually goes anyone who's done portraits knows that you want to definitely get the whites of your eyes uh, as white as possible this will analyze and actually find out where the eyes are and go and whiten them you can also mask because as you can see here it's making a bit of a mistake in going into the eyeball but you can mask that as well eye enhancer right here it gives you a definitely a great look to the eyes now how much you want of that we have to sort of look at that's your before that's your after you know it really does do an amazing job at making it look good and it's tasteful it's not you know it doesn't look bad at all it's surprising uh dark circles removal i believe that's for when you get uh, you're outside in sunlight and you get those raccoon eyes this is probably for that you can also slim face in one shot everyone knows that when you do portraits we do do that sometimes here's the slim face again pretty darn good it seems to do the judgment very well on how it will slim face now enlarge eyes is another one that you can do as you can see from this portrait this is like the wrong photo to show you enlarge eyes because uh Mireille's eyes are just look great in this i wouldn't touch them in one way uh possible but let's say you do click on this you can enlarge the eyes and see how they become bigger um 
but I would not do that. But I just wanted to show you that it is effective and efficient. So it'll actually go around the area of the eyeball and do a good job so that it looks photorealistic. Eyebrow Improve is amazing. It darkens the eyebrows, makes them come out. Here's before and here's after. As you can see, the eyebrows are popping a bit more. Not only we do that with Dodge and Burn, but now we're doing it with uh, this actual Skylum software. Lip saturation, uh, lips redness, lip darkness, and teeth whitening. Obviously, in, in this shot, you cannot see the teeth, but it does do a great job. It's basically the same sort of algorithm as what it does for the eyes. It finds out where the teeth are and does the best job. Lip saturation, you can come in and make those lips look just a bit stronger. Lip redness, I'm not a big fan of touching that. I think that's going to be a very unpopular part of this plugin, but it doesn't matter. You know, some people like that to get that dramatic look. And lip darkening, you can darken the lips. And what's really great, it seems to pay attention to um, the highlights on the lips. Anyone who retouches knows that you want to keep highlights. You always dodge and burn lips. You burn the lips where they're, they're red so that they show that they're red lips. And on the front end of the lip, you always have that little reflection. And you normally dodge and go dodge that to get the light to pop out a bit more. Uh, therefore, those are there. I, I prefer to do those in Photoshop. Now, if you pull this over, you can look at the before and there's the after. So everything is very tasteful. The eyebrows, the uh, what it does, how it enhances the eyes is really great. Now, this is the thing that I do. And, you know, you can stop the video right now if you guys want. And just make sure you like, share, subscribe. But if you want to continue going, what I like to do is I like to take this, apply it. And when I apply it as a plugin, it'll ship back into Photoshop and close down Luminar for me and make the layer with all those effects. Okay, so let's go. Here we are back in Photoshop and the layer is being applied. If I take that off, you can see what was there initially and now you can see what's there now. What I like to do is that when I do this and I want to come up with a natural look sometimes, a good example in this would be let's say i don't like what the effect did with the hair for example let's say look before and that's after it it softened the hair a bit so what i do is i go down here i press and i make a mask and then after that i apply and paint into the mask black which gets rid of let me go into the english keyboard here some of the effects i just did in that section so it's making it so that in that section, in the hair section, you will not have the effect of that, uh, of what Luminar has done. So it allows you to do all that stuff. So here's what you come out with quick. And as you can see, it didn't take me that long. From this point on, I would probably still dodge and burn just because I'm a dodge and burn freak. So guys, tell me what you think. If you try out Luminar, check it out. It's uh, it's available. It's going to be available soon, Luminar 4. I've been using 2018 since then, but I will be switching to Luminar 4. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget, everybody, keep on making something from nothing.